This is an atmospherics tutorial. So what can we do with the atmospheres? On the moon, um... Hmm. How about Mars then? Yeah, yeah, and so forth. Shazam. Shazam. So, Mars. During the day, 20, 25 degrees, I think. During the night, like, minus 50. And uh, lots of CO2, some pollutant, some O2. So we can give something to the plants, we can give something to ourselves, or we can just solve the biggest problem that you always have in stationers, cooling. I mean, it's easy to solve often, but uh, it's uh, interesting to just use the atmosphere for this. So let's just store some liquid stuff during the night and see what happens. There. Magically, it is now night. Minus 41 degrees. Hmm. I thought it would be colder. Ah, eh, doesn't matter. So, here we have a gas pump, and here we have a gas pipe, and here we have a liquid pipe, because stuff will become liquid. Um, so let's use this, uh, assurance valve to get the gas into the liquid pipe. Six uh, megapascals is the limit here, so let's go with five. Oh, it's not yet powered? Huh. Sudden silence. The world is now empty. And here we're getting some pressure. Ooh, the pipe stress isn't good. No, it's not. Uh huh. Okay, that doesn't work like this. <laughs> it's way too fast. Hmm. Maybe this helps. One kilopascal? Can that be too much? We'll find out. No stress. No stress is good. How about 10 kilopascals? Hmm. Mm hmm. 100. Huh. One megapascal then? Still no stress, okay. Ooh, that's daring. Should be some stress now. Yeah, there's some stress now. Too much stress. <laughs> Why is the pressure not building? Oh right, of course it's ending up in the tank. Yeah, yeah, and that takes like an eternity to fill. So let's wait an eternity. On camera, yes. No. Ten minutes later. Well, I could get a lot more air, but this pipe can't take it. Um, I could have more pipes in parallel, maybe. Oh, that could work. Okay, so now we have four. Let's turn them on one after the other. Input pipe pressure target was one megapascal. Uh-huh, that's where we're at. Two... Eight, nine, twenty. Come on, what the fuck, man? Is that necessary now? It's twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. It doesn't seem to be fast, though. Is it really that fucking slow? Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. 
Oh yeah, okay, it is faster. Let's see where we're getting with this. A bit irritated. Uh, I haven't yet turned them on. These are 20. Only the four from before are on, and but the the target the pressure is very slowly only rising back to one megapascal since I expanded those pipes. Why? Anyway, I'm just gonna add um, two more active vents to the mix. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that helps. It's interesting. The target pressure is set to one uh, one megapascal for these uh, vents, but now I have to add more vents so that huh. No, it no, actually does make sense, yeah, yeah. Too bad I don't have the pressure internal value for the uh, large power vent. It doesn't have that. It only has pressure external f to not overpressurize airlock boxes. So, what about more active vents? Is this dependent on world box or is this the amount of vents? I'm not sure here. I mean, normally it should, would be world boxes. So, if I add more world boxes into the mix, which I'm currently not doing, this is still in the same box, then it should be faster. Um, maybe we're too close to one megapascal to still to be able to tell at all. Mm, well, let's turn on with the things then. 858, 71. I don't think that has gotten faster. Nothing appears to have changed. That's fewer things than I hoped that would change, admi admittedly. Huh. This should make a difference. What if you risk a little bit more pressure? Uh. Come on! Oh, it seems to have gone faster. Is that so? Even though the pressure has not actually risen? That would be so weird. Okay, let me now export. Watch the number, watch the number. 26, 27, 8, 9, 30. Export. 31, 32, 33. It is slower. How can it be slower and the pressure in here has not actually risen? I mean, only by a few little pascals. Okay, let's be bold then. Let's just say 10 megapascals. See what happens. Um, it's faster, but not faster, faster, only slightly. Let's go to 1.5 then. Oh my god, already 1 megapascal. I mean, look at this tank, it's huge, is what she said. And so no wonder it's the press is rising very slowly. Of course it's not realistic to just keep pumping. Uh, I mean, I have eternal night here right now, but it's an experiment. Ooh, the pressure is building. Hmm. Hmm. Let me just limit the pressure to 1.1 and see what happens with the stress. Aha, uh -huh, decreasing. Good. Why ever? 46, 47. Definitely has gone slower. Hmm. This isn't it, or is it? It, 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 that's it? When the pressure in this pipe is rising instead of staying constant and or falling, this means this will be faster? How does that make sense, man? I think we are f reaching the outer fringes of the simulation implementation here. Let's turn off all vents but one and see if we can repeat the experiment. So then are all off. I'm gonna wait for the stress to go down further before I start. Huh. Uh so anyway, um five, six, 
Wow, slow. Is it because of the vents? Anyway, let's change this, see what happens. One, five. Eight. Nine, so let's click. Ten. Definitely faster. Eleven. Twelve. But the stress is building. Can't have that. Hmm. Huh. I could accelerate this by just using a condensation valve, of course. Or multiple. We should be able to um, allow a lot more pressure once these condensation valves are active because then we can get rid of the condensation which is causing the stress. Let's turn on only one. Okay, that helps already immensely. How immensely? Hmm. Okay, not that immensely. Oh, immensely enough. It's just, I don't know, it's breathing? It rose and then it didn't? Weird, weird. <laughs> well. Uh, I guess I have to turn on more. Hmm, no dice. But stress is building. So is the liquid. Aha, uh -huh, now it's not. Very cool. Now let's turn on all of them and see how high we can ri raise the pressure. Maybe I should employ actually the power vent again, the large one. System check. Hmm, nothing much happening. Maybe I didn't indeed need the big vent. Let's just add it. I can turn it on and off. So what will that do then? Yeah, I know, I know it's not yet on. Uh, checking the values. Mm -hmm. Increasing the pressure. The stress is still fine. And what's going on on this side? Oh, 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 oh man, my pants are getting tighter. What is this? <laughs> so that was the trick. Don't use the pressure and virus, but use the fact that this thing is liquefying and let it seep in, is what she said. Let's turn those off then. Mm -hmm. Behavior seems to be exactly the same, very slowly rising pressure. Well. So looking at this building, uh, it's, I mean, not a building, but looking at the process of this building up, um, we can see lots of liquid CO2, but no liquid pollutant. Why is that? Well, because the temperature range is fine for this process, like 40 degrees-ish, 1.2 megapascals, and uh, starting 4.5 megapascals no longer matters, just goes up to infinity. And for pollutant to be liquid, we would have to be at uh, a pressure of 2.6 megapascals. So we could still use this time to just extract all the CO2, but at some point the pollutant would join in. How do we get that separated then without, well, cheaply just adding a filtration system? More interestingly, what would happen if I add another one of these, of course, at a distance where there's still air in the world? Pressure increasing very clearly. Stress not stressed out. What about the speed? Let's turn this off again, compare. 22, what, what, what? Is the pressure decreasing? Oh, of course. Things are condensing and every, if everything would be liquid, the pressure would be zero. That's what's happening. Oh. 
Interesting problem. The pressure is so high now that things just become liquid. So I have to look at the liters now? Hmm. Oh right, this thing has a connector. Hmm. Yo, let's bring the tank measurement into the mix then. 10,000 liters already. Wait, what? Yeah. 50,000 liters capacity. We're at 10,700 already. Is this showing this only in, in 100th resolution? Dude. Clearly the resolution is known at, well, higher resolution. What is this? I think I just screenshotted a bug. Screenshot. 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 And screenshot. No stress whatsoever. 12,000 liters of what? What is it that we have here? Mostly CO2, but yeah, pollutant is joining in. Downside of this whole condensation, of course, is that it's getting warmer, because that's how it works. And if it would be evaporating, it would be getting colder. But uh, I think we will be able, or would be able, I don't know what I'll do with this crap, um, to use this for cooling, not just by using the liquid directly, but we could evaporate it, which will then, of course, cool it down a lot. And counting. Pressure is increasing. Not just the liters. Hmm. Shouldn't the pipes start moaning by now? Maybe they do, and no one can hear anything. Because there's no air. Oh yeah. Okay. The choir of the damned. Anyway. Ooh, the pressure is increasing rather quickly at this point in 6 megapascals means the pipes burst. I don't like that one bit. Let's see how it behaves. Is it still increasing? No, it's not. It stopped. Even though this pipe is still emptying itself into this system. <laughs> this is crazy. That is al almost one million moles of CO2, liquid CO2. Okay, so uh, I wanted to make a little station which will be overheating and then we we'll would be using that for various ways of heating, uh, of cooling this down. But I'm already failing at making the airlock for whatever reason. I mean, I'm using the same script I used in the most recent video, you know, the very fast one. But I don't, can't even get those vents to turn off. I don't know what's happening. Huh. And since it's getting late, yeah, I have to work. Not my favorite thing in the world. Uh, I'm gonna stop this video now. So if it was sorry if it was unsatisfying, but that's life. Auf Wiederhören.